Some prey can only be hunted by the Black Panther. Hello, Mr. Sonsa here. As you can hear, the voice is a little bit better, but I will still try to keep this short. So, we had two new announcements from Agent Pilot on the official forums just now. One is in respect of Omega Prestige, and the other in respect of a new character release next week. So, uh, important thing first, let's talk about Omega Prestige. Uh, so, it sounds like improvements are coming. Um, they publicly acknowledged uh, having made a mistake with the rewards for Omega Prestige. So they wanted to make us feel more powerful, but they didn't intend for us to continue to reset our level um, in a mandatory way, which is still a bit of a weird statement considering what the system included. Um, Anyway, so um, what they will do now, we talked about a little bit uh, during the last video, um, the powers won't be removed completely, the powers that you received for Omega Prestiging, which was um, one in each main attribute per level, as well as plus ten in two defensive stats. So what they are doing instead is uh, giving some of the bonuses and so they say some of the bonuses uh, directly when going Omega Prestige 1 <coughs> and the final values are still being determined so they also want our feedback it seems like um, so what they say here is this means that the Omega Trade will have much more potency as soon as they are acquired and will not require any further leveling to get more powerful um, also, they say they do this in order not to continue to damage the balance between those who acquired Omega Prestige and those who did not as time goes on, which is pretty weird though, because uh, even if we get not as strong as before at Omega Prestige 70, you get stronger right away, you don't have to level, and some of the characters will only receive Omega Prestige next year, probably only late next year. Um, they plan to release two Omega Prestige heroes per month. They said that the new characters won't release with Omega Prestige and that first the old characters will receive Omega Prestige. So if you plan on maining someone like Black Panther, um, sorry, Black Bolt or Venom or Elektra, you are in for a long wait if you actually want to receive Omega Prestige for them. Um, anyway. So, uh, what they do now is uh, that per Omega Prestige level, instead of the bonuses that you receive right on unlock, you will earn prestigious loot shards. And five shards combine into a prestigious loot box, which is similar to a marvelous loot box, but the contents won't rotate. So, in addition, every five Omega Prestige ranks, you will earn one of these boxes as well. And it doesn't have to be on the same character, so if you're Omega Prestiging several characters, um, it seems you can get them per five levels, and that also means that per Omega Prestige character you can g gain, apart from the shards, 14 loot boxes in addition. <coughs> also what has been mentioned, yeah, um, no, the day before yesterday I think it was, um, there will be item sets for Omega Prestige owners that you can use at level 1, providing a scaling benefit, and you can, or we sh you should be able to use these uh, new sets to level up to 60 and only after you decide to play at 60 or after you max Omega Prestige you can use Cosmic or Omega items. Um, they also, and this has been long requested of course, changed the stack sizes for Omega Essence and Fractured Omega Essence, uh, respectively 200 and 500, um, stating freeing up a bit of space so you can carry the loot from your new prestigious loot boxes. Yeah, thank you very much, not that it was needed in the first place to cap the stacks at 40. Um, 
in addition to compensate for players that have already unlocked Omega Prestige, you will, un uh, until the new form of Omega Prestige is introduced into the game, earn double the amount of loot shards and also double the amount of prestigious chests. So what they say, every 2.5 Omega Prestige levels you will earn the new prestigious loot box and this will work retroactively. So I will post the link in the description. They want to hear our um, feedback concerning this new announcement. In particular, as the values aren't final, it cannot hurt if you want to provide any insight on what you would wish for as bonuses from Omega Prestige now. Now the other thing is a new character coming next Thursday and um, a little bit expected of course uh, Thor Ragnarok releases depending on region between October 31st in Europe or at least here in Germany and otherwise beginning of November. So, um, yeah, we will be getting Loki. It seems that the pack will include two costumes, the classic one with a cape and another costume based on Loki's Thor Ragnarok movie costume. Um, I will also post the link, but he will have, of course, spells, illusions, and a sword to use. So one skill tree will feature on Gram, his guardian sword, that you can also conjure with uh, elements. Then you have the magic tree, and here they uh, don't exactly explain if the tree is actually two trees, because you can focus on either dark magic of hell or light of Asgard creating illusions. Um, the ultimate attack will be using the Norn stones and what it says here is it will obliterate every enemy in sight. So maybe something like uh, Scarlet Witch's uh, Chaos Magic. Anyway, so uh, no details yet on price uh, or so if the uh, the character will be a store exclusive pack or also available via G as Venom was before. Um, in addition they will also have an Thor Ragnarok update on consoles before the movie hits. Not clear if that's before the European release, so before the end of October or also or only the beginning of November. So we have to see how that uh, turns out. Um, anyway, I will also post the link, so I hope, if you've been waiting for Loki, that you're happy about that, and otherwise, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions, so thanks for watching.